beta 1 receptors the major role is being on heart and the kidney and the stomach you can remember okay so let's move on to uh, the other thing that is uh, before that a uh, beta 1 receptors I would like to tell you the drugs that are included in the beta 1 receptors beta 1 okay so you can remember the beta 1 receptors the drugs they are included one I would like to tell you is the agonist and one I would like to do as a blockers agonist okay and another ones are blockers okay blockers are that they are block the receptors okay so they, they block the receptors that's why they uh, they are called as a blockers beta blockers so now here we are agonist that acts on beta 1 receptor and stimulate the function of a beta 1 receptor through GS adenylate cyclase they are dobutamine dobutamine isoprenaline isoprenaline because of shortage of the space I'm not able to write it comfortably and the noradrenaline so these are really very important beta 1 agonist you should remember dobutamine isoprenaline and noradrenaline the beta blockers in this on a beta 1 especially you remember you should remember the metaprolol etinolol bisprolol propranolol timolol nebulol and Vertiox, vertiox time. Okay, so it's a really very confusing. So just remember about this uh, metaprolol and uh, for ESM step one, just remember the function and how it acts. These are really very important. Okay, guys. So let me move on to the next receptor that is a beta two receptor. Beta two. Okay, guys. So the beta 2 receptors, the locations are really very important. Let me recall you the locations where it acts. It, they are located on the smooth muscle cells. Smooth. Smooth muscles. Okay. The smooth muscles like we have in the blood vessels, right? Then we have the smooth muscles in the bronchi. Then we have smooth muscles on a GI tract, right? Good. What happens if the beta 2 receptors are activated? Like if the beta 1 receptors are activated in the heart, they increase the heart rate, right? The cardiac output increases. If the beta 2 receptors are stimulated, they causes relaxation of the smooth muscles. Relaxation, remember. So just imagine if beta 2 receptors are stimulated in the beta blood vessels they relax what you call the smooth muscle cells and they cause a bronco sorry non vasodilatation right um, in a bronchi it causes bronchodilatation in GI tract it decreases the motility because if they are not constricted the food remains in the GI tract and the food is not uh, propelled forward so it causes decreased motility right so this is really very important functions of beta 2 receptors located on smooth muscles. They are also located on adipose tissue. Adipose tissue and they cause lipolysis. Okay, they are located on a skeletal muscles, skeletal muscles and they cause anabolism. These are really small topic, these are really not important. So just remember for what do you call for USMLA I'm talking about uterus the uterus of the non-pregnant it causes relaxations like same like a smooth muscles okay guys same as the urinary muscles deltus muscles you can call it the urinary muscles okay that's a relaxation okay same as the relaxations. So um, the other functions, the important are glycogenolysis and the gluconeogenesis. Glyco glycogenolysis. Glycogenolysis. 
and the other thing is gluconeogenesis. Okay, so and this beta 2 receptors located in the pancreas they stimulate the insulin secretion, insulin secretion stimulates. Okay, and it causes a contraction of the GI tract sphincters, sphincters, sphincters of GI tract are contracted. Okay. And it also helps in the secretion of salivary gland from salivary gland. Okay. And inhibits a histamine release from mast cells. It inhibits a histamine release. Okay, you can mark it like histamine release. Okay, guys. So there are other functions also, like it increases the renin secretion from the kidney. You can remember. So these are really very important what you call functions of um, beta 2 receptors okay so let's uh, move on to this and uh, let's move on to this let's move on to this and just I will uh, call about the uh, the drugs let me on move on to this this is a short or a long thing what you call uh, the beta 2 agonist and blockers the beta 2 agonists are I just wanna name them that's it the agonists the, those which stimulate the beta 2 receptors and does the function of the beta 2 receptors are betalterol mesalate okay formoterol okay then level buterol isoprenaline Isoprenaline, levab, what do you call a uh, levalbuterol, salmeterol, and terbutaline are really very important. That's what I want to tell you. Salbutamol, sorry, salmeterol, okay, salmeterol, and the terbutaline because they causes the dilatation these are mainly act on the bronchi and they cause dilatation and that helps in the what you call um, cold and the cough okay so they are usually used in this uh, as a medication for that so okay guys so the blockers regarding the blockers I would like to tell you the beta blockers butoxamine timolol and the propranolol you can remember okay so regarding in detail you can find it from the pharmacology books and a lot of what you call it drugs that are uh, um, beta 2 adrenergic blockades Okay, so here I could tell you the butoxamine, propranolol, and timolol. Okay, guys, so these are really very important drugs. Just go ahead with this and um, remember about the functions of the beta 1, beta 2, and the beta 3 receptors. Try to remember the locations of the receptors, these are really very important. Okay, guys, so thank you so much for watching this video on uh, all iron law. Hope um, you will find this video useful if you have any topics. Uh, do tell us so that we can work on it and upload for you guys and please do not forget to subscribe and please do not forget to share our videos with your friends thank you guys take care see you in the next awesome video with us on 